what's up y'all welcome back to another video now i've been trying to watch this video for a long time bro i cannot lie i'm trying to watch this particular video i seen it and i wanted to watch it and i just never and i mean ever got around to it but scp 073 came versus scp 39 3199 humans refuted um if i don't know what those are i got videos on both of those scps just look up the scp with my name next to it anyways let's get into it viewer discretion is advised the world wasn't always like this. It all went wrong when the devourer of worlds broke loose. We called it SCP-2317, right. back when the foundation was still around. Wait, what? I've led multiple- I, lie, I watched SCP in a couple months and there's no more foundation? Bro. <laughs> TF squads to subdue the anomalies that breached containment during the chaos. But and we couldn't get is, them Is this off. like his own custom story and stuff like that? Also, let me know what series I want. I'm not going to lie. I need to do Daybreaks. I know Daybreaks has been getting a lot of crazy stories. But chill on me. Chill on me. We failed to stop 2317. What happened to the anomalies that escaped capture? I don't know, son. Some were terminated. Some are still at large. And some, we let them go. Why did you let them go? Not all of them are evil. Every now and then, I think of those that have aided us in the past. What was that? Shh. Quiet. I heard something. Hello, everybody. I'm the rubber. Today, we bring hey, rubber. Been a minute. the SCP How you doing? Foundation. La, 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 la. Yo, yo, hell Dylan no. opened his mouth again to speak, but was interrupted by the sound of screaming from outside the door. Oh, hell, bro. His get your, get your blicks up. He rushed to the door, pressing his ear to the cold wood. Gary stood up from his chair to follow his father. Dylan pressed his finger to his lips, signaling his son to stop talking. He was pale, and already droplets of sweat were running down his face, despite the fact that it was still in the middle of winter. Dylan drawn the axe at his hip. Slowly, he opened the door, holding the axe in his left hand. Stay here, he gestured towards Gary, and closed the door behind him. Interesting. Under the moonlight, Dylan saw a silhouette of a creature hunched over a dead man. Oh, that's the buck buck? Long, that's the, that's the chicken. <laughs> yeah. That's the big ass chicken, bro. Have you seen this before? Doesn't matter. Must keep Gary safe, Dylan thought, getting ready to take the creature by surprise. He emerged, getting ready to sprint and quickly take the creature down. He gripped the handle of the axe tightly, grasping it with both hands. Dylan stood up and started running towards it. His feet lightly pit-pattered on the ground, barely making any noise. When he got closer to the creature, its tiny, human-like ears perked up, but it was already too late. Dylan raised the axe, neatly severing the creature's Ooh. neck and head. Blood in all directions from the creature's decapitated stump as it move. fell down on the dead man's body. Nice. Dylan inspected the dead creature. I don't remember if it's immortal or not, though. Its eyes and its gaping mouth full of bloodied teeth. He heard movements within the woods in front of him. He ran back to his cabin, knocking hurriedly. We gotta go. Why? What's wrong? It's not safe here anymore. Pack up your things now. We're leaving soon. Suddenly, they heard a crash come from the back of the cabin. Dylan pulled his son towards him and got to cover behind a table. They could hear the intruder was making a mess of the kitchen. Is that the same one? Dirty Mortal? I don't remember. I'm not going to lie. the creature he killed earlier. He handed the axe over to Gary. Take this. Now follow me and watch your steps. They tiptoed their way out into the night, where several more of the creatures were stalking around. One of them noticed the father and son as they exited the cabin and let out an eerily human-like screech, which attracted the attention of the rest. Damn it! Run, Gary! Run! Ah! One of the creatures broke through the door and pinned Dylan to the ground. Oh, nah, another one bro. rushed in and bit into Dylan's face, eliciting another painful scream from him. Despite being trained by his father in the arts of fighting and survival, in this frozen wasteland, Gary was terrified like Come on, Gary, before. you gotta fight, man. His mind surrendered control to his body, and he ran straight into the woods. So fight or flight in your flight? He heard stomping on the ground behind him, and he knew that the creatures were giving chase. But he was too terrified to cry, too terrified to look back, too terrified to do anything but run. One mistake was all it took to die in this barren land. A simple misstep, and his father made enough noise to attract the attention of the creatures. They descended upon him like mad dogs hungry for the mm -hmm. meal, and tore him to shreds. Mm. 
Soon enough, Gary arrived at what appeared to be an abandoned cabin in a clearing deep within the woods. He pushed open the door and slammed it shut behind him. He slid down with his back against the door, hugging his father's axe, a remnant of his MTF stays. Damn it, father, damn it. The surrounding area was oddly barren and utterly devoid of vegetation. Then he finally realized that sitting in front of him was a frail looking man. Oh, my boy. A new prey to hunt. My who, boy. Who my name is unimportant. There are more pressing matters at hand. Speaking of which, the man was interrupted by another one of those creatures that had busted through the decayed cabin wall. The creature pinned the man down, chomping him and tearing through his You're not, you're not going to get my boy like that. Suddenly, its body convulsed as bite marks manifested on its neck and flesh torn from its skin. The man, however, appeared unharmed. What? How did, did you? I simply can't be hurt. No doubt you have a thousand questions in your mind right now, but we don't have time for that. They're coming. Terror overcame Gary as he spotted more of the creatures skulking around the cabin outside. Yuck, bro. Look at they them. And rose to their full Look at them. Height. Then, in synchronization, they screamed. The scream deafened Gary for good, stunning him and sending him to the ground. He could feel blood rushing down his ears. Uh. This is no time to be afraid, boy. You must fight. I, I can't. My father's gone. I'm gonna die. Fear is the mind killer, boy. You must not fear and face them. Look at them. They've killed your father, and now they're coming for you. Gary wiped his tears away and gripped his axe. Yes, sir. He could imagine his father getting torn apart by those monsters, their bloodied teeth digging into his skin and tearing flesh from bone. He wanted them dead. Mm. Gary tightened his grip on the axe with a look of determination in his eyes. We need it. A creature charged Game time. Out. He bashed and struck at the uh, down creature over uh, and over again uh, until it turned into an uh, unrecognizable uh, The man caught the rage in Gary's eyes. Who wants some? They were on him and Okay, that's what I like to see! And their claws and teeth into his body. Yikes. But Gary was not deterred as adrenaline was pumping through his body. Over on the other side of the room, the man was being swarmed. He didn't fight back, but one by one, the creatures fell as he arose unharmed. He looked at the frenzied Gary, who was fighting against the horde with reckless abandon. If this is human nature, I wonder, are you truly more human than me, mm. Brother Abel? Gary swung his axe against the horde, but soon his energy diminished and he struggled to hold his footing. His axe could barely hold them off, as they became increasingly aggressive. Yet despite Gary's failing poise, the man could see that his rage was still burning inside him. His stares began to take on the look of a beast, oh, ready man. to give itself to the That's wild that primitive, side, abandoning humanity. That primitive look. No, I will not allow it. Not again. One of the creatures managed to sneak up behind Gary and lunged at him, but the man managed to rush forward, took the attack upon himself, which repelled the creature. Mm. That's enough. Stay back and follow my lead. But Gary ignored him and rushed forward. Bro, Gary, for come on, man. The man suddenly yanked him back and protected him from the creature's ambush. Do you want to die? You think your father would like that? What you're doing now is suicide. Why did you stop me? I need to kill, like you said. No, you're becoming a vengeful demon, just like my brother, and I will not let you. The creatures slowly gathered around and surrounded them. Keep them in your view and stay behind me. When any of them jumps at me, you take the chance to cut them down. That way we can dispatch of them faster than they can finish you off. They slowly maneuvered themselves to maintain an advantageous position. One of them lunged and bit the man's shoulder. He held its head as it clawed wildly at him. Uh, that's this one, quick! Gary held up his axe and cut at the creature's neck, almost severing it. Once it's down, Gary regained his footing beside the man. Good. Stay focused. We're not over yet. On your left! The man ducked as Gary swung to fend off the creature. It didn't do any damage, but it gave them more space. They fought side by side each other for the entire night. When the creatures went for the man, Gary would seize the opening to cut Jesus, him down. the whole night, when bro. Gary was overwhelmed, the man used his body as a meat shield to distract them to give Gary more breathing room. As morning came, the sun revealed that the cabin was now painted in blood. They're gone for now. More will come back. There are eggs being hatched nearby as we speak. Yeah. You best get your energy up and move on. The man then handed him a makeshift container filled with water, which Gary gulped down vigorously. They killed my father. So it was vengeance I saw in your eyes. Vengeance or not, it didn't matter. 
They needed to die. These were monsters. No, your father's gone. There's nothing you can do to bring him That's back. That's so crazy. These creatures don't care about you, me, or your father, or your vengeance. They are just animals looking for the next meal. Fight not for your father, but your survival. What do you know about survival? Take a look around you. All the humans are gone. The only ones fit to survive are monsters like you and them. So don't you dare tell me about survival. I'm... I'm sorry. I was out of line. You're not lying, though. You mentioned your brother. What happened to him? You remind me of my brother. The way you fought. The intensity in your eyes. It was uncanny. He'd gone down a dark path of vengeance and bloodshed. And it was all my fault that he turned out that way. And I'd prefer to leave it at that. So, where is he now? Somewhere out there. Probably reveling in fights. They remained silent for a moment. Where is Abel? Then, tears started rolling down Gary's cheeks. Is there even a place for me? What's the point of living in this godforsaken world anymore? Just deaths. Life has no meaning now. Take a look around you. Nothing grows around me. Wherever I go, decay follows. It's a curse that's bound to me for eternity. Yet, if you look further, you can see the sun touches more land yet, where life flourishes, and that's good enough for me. The meaning of life isn't set in stone. It's a choice made by each one of us. That's why I chose to stay. That's why I chose to help you fight. That's the meaning of my life. Because I deem it so. Who are you? I'm that, simply a nobody. That boy Kane. You call me Kane. Woo! Shit. Before we end this video, we're proud to present these incredibly sweet hit. pieces. Of it hit. It hit. That boy Kane, man. I've been wanting to watch the video for a long time. Finally did it, bro. There you go. SCP video. Um, let me know what other SCP videos you guys want. Um, down below in the comments. Um, moving forward. And I thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and let me know what else you want to see, man.